you've never seen Joan so provocative, so glamorous, and so downright romantic. When she turns on that innocent stare in her baby blue eyes, even her best girlfriend is about to lose her best boyfriend. Glad we came. If you're happy, then I am, you know that. I love you, too. We're not good for each other, Ned. This thing between us is no good. That's why you'll never get me out of your blood. And wherever you are with Curtis, I'll be there. You don't care very much for women, do you? My dear girl, apart from painting, my major occupation is convincing husbands that I'm harmless. Surely you're not blaming me for what's happened. Why, you can't. I, I've done everything. I've even talked to Curtis. I can just hear you. Being so helpful and so helpless. Helping to mess up people's lives for your own selfish purposes. And just about as helpless as a wildcat. You've been with me for five hours and you've been lying every second of it. I haven't. I haven't. Oh, Nick, I love you. I love you. You love only one person in the world, Christabel. Now get out. I'll make you ten. You can't send me away. Oh, yes, I can. And it's a lot easier than I thought. I have only one regret in kicking you out. You'll go back to Curtis. And that's a filthy trick to play on any man. Now beat it. 